Parallax method. Parallax method uh, deals uh, with the estimation of the distance of, of any object or astronomical object usually. So in parallax method, uh, to understand this method, consider that uh, you are traveling uh, in a car or in a bus. You are sitting in the car and through window, let's say it is an evening time and it, during the evening time you're observing the moon and a tree. Tree is a nearby object and moon is a far lying object. So when you observe this moon and this tree, obviously I can easily estimate this value theta. Let's say this position is A. Now after some time, obviously this car or this car bus is moving. So after some time, when you reach the location, let's say at B, it is a common occurrence. You might have observed this in your life that somehow the moon appeared to be at the same place, but the tree has gone in the backward direction. We can easily measure again this theta. Let's say this is theta one and theta two. So this angle would be theta one plus theta two. So if somehow we know this distance between AB, if I know this distance between AB, and if I know this angle theta one plus theta two, let's say this combination is equal to theta. If I know this theta, then I can easily estimate the distance between the observer and the tree. So our target is to find out this distance, distance between the observer and the tree. So uh, if I uh, again make some construction, taking this uh, tree as a center and draw a circle considering to be tree at the center, then I can draw a circle like this. Let me redraw this diagram again. Uh, tree at the center. Then uh, let's say this is location A and this is location B. Then we can consider this as the circle with tree as a center. This is theta, this is position A, this is position B. So from elementary mathematics, uh, I can write that theta is proportional to the arc AB. And since uh, this arc AB is quite small, so definitely I can say that this arc AB is equal to distance AB. Let's say this distance is termed as baseline. And uh, our aim is to find out this distance. Let me call this as distance. And this theta term is called as parallax angle. So again, uh, coming back to the mathematics, theta is proportional to r k b, and I can also say that 360 degrees is proportional to the circumference 2 pi r. So theta is proportional to r k b, and complete 360 degrees is proportional to the complete circumference. So if I divide these two, theta divided by 360 degree is equal to a b divided by 2 pi r. So this uh, R can be written as 360 degree divided by 2 pi with AB divided by theta. Now 360 degree by 2 pi is equal to 57.3 degree and this AB is our baseline. This theta is the parallax angle and this R is the distance which is our aim that we want to find out. So this is the working formula. This is the working formula to estimate the distances. If we know the parallax, if we know the baseline, we can easily estimate the distance. Now let us quickly look at one example. Let's suppose you are on planet Earth and let's say we have two locations A and B and we are observing moon. Uh, this is the foreground object. Background object can be a very far lying star. So we measure some point, we observe some point on the moon, uh, then we can easily estimate this theta, which is a parallax angle. We know the distance between AB, which is acting as a baseline. And if we know the baseline, if we know the theta, we can easily get the value of the distance between the observer and the moon. Okay. So uh, using uh, this formula, using this formula, I can find out the distance. This is the parallax method. Thank you.